Hello, my name is Gary, and today we're going to go over the Remoview S1 modes. So there are three different modes that the S1 can be in. That's pan, follow, and lock. And I'll just demonstrate how you can flip between those different modes and what they do. The default mode when you first turn the gimbal on is in pan mode. What pan mode does is that it locks the, the, the top axis so that when you go down and up, the camera stays still. But as you turn the camera to the left or the right, the camera will pan with it. It will go in that direction that you turn. You can change the modes by pressing the mode button on the gimbal body, or you can change the mode by pressing the, the joystick button on the remote control. So we'll go into follow mode. So in follow mode, there are no locking at all. So if I was to tilt the camera upwards, the camera then pans up. If I was to tilt the camera downwards, it will pan down. Or if I was to go left and right, just like in pan mode, it will also go in that direction. Now we'll go into lock mode. And when you go into lock mode, it is going to keep the camera in the current position that it's pointing. So wherever you're pointing the camera, that is where it will stay locked. So now I'm in lock mode and if I was to turn the camera in any direction, up, down, left, right, it will keep the camera pointing in that same direction the entire time. You can also go into reverted mode. So while you're in pan mode, you tilt the gimbal upside down and then you manually position the camera so it's pointing directly out and now you can go into reverted mode. So this is good for when you're doing low angle shots and you want to get, extend your arm down lower to the ground. 